team members how the fuck is you gonna miss one let me get you another goddamn video man hey look uh team members man hey without wasting time we're gonna go ahead and jump straight to this video as you guys can tell from the title we're trying to see how fake this replica air jordan one uh travis scott air jordan one from plushkings.com really is if you guys don't remember from the last ad i did I actually wrote a clip been out here how long since four o'clock how many hours is it? Four o'clock, yes. About 14 hours. Yeah, About 14 tough. hours. Why would you want to go through that? Huh? Well, hello there. You should stun a best friend, King Demi. Back at you with some good news. I'm here to tell you guys today about some top replica shoes that you can get for some very, very good prices. I know everybody wants to look fly, everybody wants to wear the designer shoes, everybody wants to wear what their favorite celebrities are wearing. But boom, you go to the store, it's all sold out. On the day's release, there's fights going on, long ass lines, you gotta count for days. Why do you wanna go through that? Thought of all, actually, some of us ain't even got the money to do it. Like, come on! That's why PushKicks.com is here for you. PushKicks.com is a website that sells top replica shoes that you can buy for some very affordable price. Except all payment methods, Western Union, PayPal, credit cards and debit cards and even accept checks all you got to do today is go to pushkicks.com use the code king and you get ten dollars off also follow them on instagram at pushkicks88 and you also get another ten dollars off from that app i told you how good pushkicks.com is and how cheap their replicas are and stuff like that i'm not i'm not really into sneakers i'm not really a big sneakerhead so i, I don't really spend my money buying sneakers anyways i went ahead and googled travis Cole jordan's uh one real versus fake and this website, I'm out to check this website, is legit. Check the app. Interesting. So I'm forced to basically spot the edge on his wife is really fake. But this is how the shit comes, man. Oh no. That 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 brown is a little different from this one. This is how the shit comes. It comes pretty nice looking. It's not bad, in my opinion. I'm I'm not really a sneaker head. I don't know much about sneaker, but it looks legit. You know what I'm saying? It looks it looks pretty legit. That's all I got to say for now. I don't know why it has three laces. I don't know how to do lace, or four actually. So I'm going to have to watch a video or someone can tell me how to do it in the comments and we're going to check it out. But yeah, for now, and it comes with a Nike box too. Like, everything looks like I don't know, man. Like, shit. Let's go ahead and check this website and see what the fuck they talking about. And catch a little vibe to it. I wish I had a blunt road up before this video, but no. It's okay. In this guy, we'll cover how to spot rivers is fake. Step one, check the tongue tag text for inconsistency. They say this is by far the most effective way to spot it. We're looking for the thickness of the front. Look. So we're looking at the front. So the fake ones have a small front. But yeah, that's expected though. This is a replica anyways. Like they, they tell they told me it's replica. Like go to PushKicks.com, use the code King and get ten dollars off. Follow them on Instagram at PushKicks88 and get another ten or ten dollars off. And the front doesn't even really look small. Like I don't know what they're saying, man. Man, step one is and uh, let's go to step two. Break the reverse Nike swoosh at the pointy end. Look right here. So can you guys tell me if this is real or fake? Like if this is. Can you really tell? It's not too far, like from the authentic. Look at the screen. But yeah, that's step two. I think this is so far so good, passing the test. This shit is fucking rounded tip. You see right there? The tip is rounded as fuck, like right there. Shit, it's passing the test so far, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Porschkick.coms. Hey, a dot com, I said dot coms. <laughs> okay, the, the threading. Oh, I think. What you guys think, man? You guys tell me what you think. The threading don't look bad. Like, I mean, it has a pointy one out, just one pointy, just like the authentic has, but like, the fake one has supposed to have like a whole bunch of pointies. But this shit doesn't look bad, right now. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. Check the insult text, see if it's bold or thin. So the, the fake one is supposed to be bold, and the original is supposed to be thin. All right, let's see. Shit. This is thin as fuck. Yeah, okay, so the inner, the inside of it, that's thin. No way, can you guys actually even see? It? Inside of it, it's thin. Thin! Thin! The uh, next step is inspect the Air Jordan's logo for missing details. Uh, this looks good. Look, oh god, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This shoe looks pretty good. This is five steps, and so far it's missed only one. I don't know what else to say. Let's look for a harder one. This is some shit like nobody will ever even notice. The tongue tag. 
This shit look legit as fuck, though. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This shit look legit as a motherfucker, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but like, I can't find no negatives, bro. I'm trying to find something to really point out at all oh, this shit. I thought like this wrinkles in the front right here is like something. When I talk to my friend, my friend was like, oh, that's normal. Like when you take out the little thing that comes inside of it, it'll be fine. And I'm like, shit. Okay, now I'm saying. Let's see if there's any other thing. Scan the soul for a steric pattern. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. The soul, the soul of this one looking real fake, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> this soul looking real fake right here, man. Look at the soul. Yeah, the bottom is definitely fake as fuck. I mean, it has the hysterics, but like, it's just, I don't know, man. This thing says like, it's a, the fake ones have sharper hysterics and the uh, original ones have lighter hysterics. Man, this thing's a dumb in my opinion. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everything looked good to me. This shoe looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and make another video where I'm actually wearing the shoe and wearing it out in public to see what people think about it. And that was where we'll really see other people's reaction because I'm not really a big sneakerhead, so I can't really tell you much about it. But I've just had this shoe for like a week and a half now. And because of this quarantine, I haven't been able to do the video because what the video I really wanted to do first was the public video. Like that's really what the video I really used to like talk about the shoe. But because of this quarantine, everywhere is locked down. There's no place I can go to where I can really see an influx of people. So I just wanted to make this video so like the comment doesn't think I'm just like trying to steal their shoe or something. But like, and you guys, this cactus jack right here, that should look cool as fuck. This shoe look legit. I'm not gonna be wearing it anytime soon until when the current is over. Or if a party comes up one of these days, because people started throwing parties. So I'm gonna probably wear it to one of these parties and just ask you for the parties to tell me what they think about it. But for now, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are going to go to a push kick.com and go buy yourself some quarantine shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, tell the friend, tell the friend, stop feeling the boy. Follow me on Instagram and honest company follow me on other social medias like you see. Go right ahead, scan the snap, push turn, push notifications, and tell me how the fuck it ain't going. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed up. Alright? <laughs>